What's up, guys, and welcome to Hey Hedgehog's second episode of the Final Fantasy VII Remake playthrough. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It supports the channel, gets this video out to more viewers. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So previously on Final Fantasy VII Remake, Cloud Strife, along with Avalanche, Barrett, Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge, went to Mako Reactor 1 and actually detonated and blew it up. We committed acts of terrorism. Straight up, we, we committed acts of terrorism. Uh, so now we're about to observe the aftermath and try to escape. We're trying to flee. The Metropolitan Zone built atop the Sector 8 plate. Midgar's newest and most picturesque sector is already a cultural hub, setting trends for the whole city. The district's playhouse is also home to the popular theater production, Loveless. All right, here we are. I'm gonna sneak on through there. Can I run? No. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? It sounded like Vegeta for a hey, second. We can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick me up. <laughs> How much farther do we have to go? Not far. I don't know why, but that voice reminds me so much of my friends. That's about as good a place as any. Stand back then. I'll set the bomb. That I play uh D D with Neverwinter Nights. Can't wait to take a hot shower. Oh. Dang, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm I have to literally move through there. I'm literally moving. I'm in full control. She's good to go. Please put that on my face. Sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson of anything that gets in my way. Gosh, Jesse, you're so cute. Attention, all citizens. Attention, all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. Merc's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta more to look blow at up the now. bigger picture <laughs> here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh. So, what's our next move, boss? 
That's easy enough. We get our asses home. Shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then. Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it once we're back at base. Dang. All Cloud's concerned about is money. He just wants his money. Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? You can now set materia to your weapons and armor. Try setting the healing materia to your buster sword. And skip. There we go. Pretty straightforward. In this game, you can equip materia, which acts as like your spells or abilities. You know, you can increase your uh, certain... Uh, well, I don't know how it works specifically in this game, but I know for sure you can equip materia to augment your abilities, make you have more health, for example, or have more magic power. Or you can make it so that you can cast fire or cast healing magic or cast, you know, lightning or cold or summon creatures basically yeah things to augment your equipment something you can equip to your equipment little gemstones
Is that our boy? Sephiroth? Oh boy. You're not real. You're not real. You're just a hallucination. You're just a figment of my imagination. You're not real. You're not real. It couldn't be. But then... Oh, wow. Holy smokes. These filters. The hell? You're a ghost. Back over here. Should be behind me. No. Plaid's going through some major PTSD. You're not real. You're dead. I am. Um, I killed you with my own. <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. That leather. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown, her is so bright. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh yielding to cold steel. Yikes. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry. It's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Yeah! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. Give in to your hate. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. Treasure? Treasure? No. To visit. 
It's no use. You are advised. There's no way we're getting through that mess. The explosions at the reactor have caused numerous ongoing fires. Many homes are at risk. It is not safe to remain indoors. Please leave your residences at once. I repeat. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. An evacuation order has been issued to the occupants of buildings in the vicinity of the Sector 8 Expressway. You are advised to vacate the area immediately. Huh. The explosions at the reactor have caused can just knock stuff over. Fire. Many homes are at risk. It is not safe to remain indoors. Please leave your residences at once. I repeat. Man. Oh wow, what a mess. Emergency Operations Center. An evacuation order has been issued to the occupants of the building in the vicinity of the Sector 8 what, what Expressway. What if they reach us? What the, the thing is... I remember there being... Like, you couldn't even see the sky. Right? Like, there used to be, like, whole plates over the city itself that made it perpetually nighttime. So I'm not sure if I'm, I'm feeling that change. Station, we'll take that fire escape. We'll put you right on the street. Hmm. Just go down these stairs. Go down this ladder. Dang, my sword is big. Sword is huge. That's what she said. Oh, this is where I'm going to get stopped by... Well, that's new. right it's a gift you know for scaring those things away what things never mind think of it as a memento just my luck i heard that you know how much how much well that depends on the customer in your case, <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <laughs> This is new. This is not, this was not in the original game. Drop your weapon! Whatever those things are. Are you blind? 
You know, you're right. Wait! Nice meeting you. Because in the previous game, you were getting Sword stopped like on one side, right and then you tried to go to the other, and then you would get stopped by a group of soldiers on the other side, and then you, you basically got cut off. <laughs> Never in doubt. Nice. these guys just to get some more XP. Materia. Deadly dodge, Materia. Oh, 
chest. Got some grenades. Over there! Open fire! Shoot to kill! Armband crafted from iron, a sophisticated accoutrement with a reasonable price tag. Ooh, and I can equip a thingy. A materia. Use deadly dodge. Okay. Going down this ladder, going through this opening, and what do we got? Oh, we got soldiers. All right. These guys remind me of the Galvanian soldiers from Final Fantasy VIII. Yes. You deserve to die. Five hundred and sixty four damage from a move that used to be that used to be just a normal attack or not a normal attack, a limit break attack with the cloud. That braver. That was his very first limit break attack. Sorry. 
Contained a bottle of ether. It's a Moogle medal. No, it's a key item. A medal with a Moogle on it. A popular item among collectors. Okay. The collectible. You have been warned. Surrender yourself to public security immediately. You have nowhere to run. Music's awesome. Thing is, thing you don't understand is, I'm not stuck in here with you guys. You all are stuck in here with me.
Heads up! Ow. No escape. Let's finish this. Move in! You'll let him escape! HQ, this is Sector 8, Unit 2. Target is surrounded. Moving to secure. Wait! I know that. Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? He looks like Charlie Sheen. The guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. <laughs> you think he's a keeper? You think he's a keeper? You had me worried for a minute. You had me worried for a minute. Security to run around. That's all. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. So cute. Well, can't argue with results, huh? What? Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the mm -hmm. evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. We've Sector got a crowd to hide in. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Mako Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. I'm so tempted to crush these boxes, blast through them with my sword. Hope the others made it. Wow, but who gets some fucking people riding in the freight car? I guess they don't have the Are you the one so cramped? Hey guys. Whoa, what's up, Wedge? Yo, what's good, my guy? What's up, Man, homie? Everyone's on edge. Of course they are. Hey, Cloud. I am. Um... If you're about to it sounds like yourself, my homie, dude. Don't. I'm not Yeesh. even kidding. You don't make it easy. They even Stop have the right towels down there. No thieves getting my money. Hey, got a sec? You're uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector Eight. I'm a soldier. You see, wow. my daughter now lives my in He says I'm a soldier like it's the answer to everything. To it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. Okay, Charlie Sheen. She's bae. Jesse's bae. Please. I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. 
I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. I doubt this will be the last attack on a reactor. <laughs> What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? I remember Aren't these the peeps. Terrorists who tried to kill the president? The middleman manager? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear, y'all's masters. We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Hmm. <laughs> Those fighting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Barrett's so funny. How much longer till the station? Mr. T. You hear that suit? Shinra Creed, my ass. They're just people. We're the good guys, damn it. I didn't hear anything. You gotta believe me. They'd probably kill us if they knew we were the ones responsible. Well, I get it if you can't relate. How much longer till the station? You hear that suit? Shinra Creed, my ass. Hey, Jesse. Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar. Complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, so it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their system. databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. We got a special thing masking them. What I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Gosh, I wish you could be like an actual like character that would join you it's because more long term. I always that wondered what happened to Avalanche. To I hope it elaborates on that. Because they just kind of disappear as far as I can remember in the original the game. And the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Like this train.
train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. The Neighborhood Watch, an organized group of slum... Oh, escape artists. Dedicated to protecting the town in lieu of Shinra, who has shown nothing but indifference towards the slums. The watch deals with a variety of issues, such as building reconstruction and more. Home Sweet Slum. Oh, you're oh, goodness. goodness. Oh, you're Knew it couldn't be that bad. No way. Hot <laughs> 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 damn, we are good! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, Wait, I think I see the plates in the sky now. Honor. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> see you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. I love this music. Are you sure you haven't seen our people here? Have you seen a huge explosion? Wow, am I hungry? This is What are we even doing here? Talk about this. I'm going on a go. Of course not. Office still there? How about it, baby girl? Train services have concluded for the day. Hey, leftovers are for kids only. So the Mako reaction. Which is enough fried marsh? A handful or? Uh -huh. Man, some sure tea Chop. Well, I, I, stand. I told him. How about some snacks? I think he's over by the TVs. He's been watching. <sighs> what kind of person bombs a reactor? The kind of person who goes around wire. That's what I heard. Some plays only had it so good because of the reactors. This bomb huh? exchange. Uh -huh. I'd never seen anything like it before. It was completely. Oh, there insane. we go. Okay. The was out full force looking for the bombers. I even saw a few I see. See, that's that's what I was talking about earlier. It's perpetually dark because of the plates. I guess we were just in a section that didn't have them. It was like a giant candle lighting up All the whole three piled up like mountains. You couldn't go nowhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako junkie, huh? Figures. You again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. When I get back, it's refueling time. Sector 7 slums.
once again, police supplies are currently being distributed in the lobby of the Chinra building. Doctors are also stationed at the building's wow. disaster relief center. If you Wait, are this is real? It's not own, a movie? How long is it going to keep burning? Mayor Domino, in conjunction with President Shinra, has declared a state of emergency in Midgar. The administration has issued assurances that they are doing everything in their power to provide... Are they going to turn the reactor off? Why did people no blow it up? Claim responsibility for the attack, but security services are working tirelessly to identify those involved. What do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop. So I can look after my parents. Hey, Tifa. <gasps> Arlene. <gasps> it's Barrett's <laughs> daughter. That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Uh. Hey! Uh, what the Barrett. hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um. Hmm. Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me, then. How was it up on the plate? It was... chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Not good at all. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. So, so my friend said they saw it, it wasn't that bad? I thought it reactors was. were safe. What's going on? Oh. Right. Suddenly everyone's talking about some bomb going off. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room. 202. Don't worry, 
I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Hmm, I don't remember. Okay. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No. Two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so... That'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Hmm. Dang, didn't even get his full pay. <clears throat> huh, at least he got a place to stay tonight. Oh. Whoa. Jumped on the floor like a cat. Guess it's time for introductions. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Marco. I know he's a. I think he's a soldier who's going through Mako withdrawal. If I remember right. Or overdosers, like, you know, been exposed to it too long, which is something that happens to soldiers. The members of Soldier. to go in here? No. Hey, 
obtained a tuft of phoenix down. Well now, you must be Cloud. Landlady. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? <laughs> I'm clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. All right. Check out these. These graphics are still like freaking awesome. Still good. Even for just being on the PS4, these these graphics are. That landlady Morrow, she's always looking out for the neighborhood girls. The watch is saying they're gonna step up their game. And searching for candidates. That, mention? that sword's massive. This here street behind me is strapped full of them. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. If you don't want to get hurt, keep your distance. That sword's massive. Searching for candidates. Doing a little exploring here. Is it just me? I wonder if everyone in second grade is okay. Which is better? You may hear music near shops and certain characters. As you approach the source of the music, a music icon will appear. The icon means that a music disc is available at a nearby shop or vending machine. Oh, so you can collect music discs. Gotta catch them all. Hey man, check it out. This song's pretty sweet, ain't it? You like it? You feeling it? Have a copy. They popped a chocobo. Let's go. I've chatted with that Barrett guy a few times. Take your time it's now, okay? I'm gonna go the long way around. Hey kitty. Hey kitty, kitty, kitty. Can't pet cat. All right, chatted with that Barrett guy a few times. Move like Looks I. like a real hard ass, but he's actually pretty chill. Here you go. Here you go, kitty. <laughs> good cat. Good cat. Good. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. Uh, Let's the get next down to business. If Jesse put her mind to defeat to, most every home the in the Huns. area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, <laughs> collect the old ones, and get paid. 
What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? Oh my goodness. <sighs> well, let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. All right, everyone. That's going to be it for this episode. Um, thank you all for hanging out. Be sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos just like this. I will see you next time. Take care.